So just state your name again for me for the record. Bob Gamandi. We are a machine shop, uh, a machine shop welding fabrication, you know, one uh, stuff like that. We do. We are primarily uh, specialized in stainless steel, not you know limited to stainless steel, but uh, that's our you know main focus, and uh, you know uh, steel buildings and stuff like that. There is a shortage of knowledge in this country and services, especially from the Guyanese company, and you have you know all these foreigners coming in, of course, investing in the country. And the Guyanese, I feel, they're you know, left behind because of knowledge. So for me, being in this country, transferring the knowledge from, you know, to my people, I think is the most uh, benefit for me re returning in this country. I'm Chris Mohan, General Manager of CCA Guyana. CCA Guyana Inc. as a locally registered and local content, freight, uh, local content certified freight forwarder. Uh, realized that there is a need for our services, especially as the oil and gas industry is growing. So some of the services that we provide would be air and ocean, import and export, brick bulk shipments, project cargo, uh, warehousing, and there is a need for our services at the uh, energy conference. GPL is in the business where we want to highlight our customer base that we have new, we want to diversify our energy. We are starting new projects, particularly a project in Wakenham that is diversifying the the energy where we're, we're thinking about renewable sources going to, to the sun so to say so that we can be able to get energy and of course bring more stability to the power sector in addition to that we're also um, you know we're about to initiate another project that is a, of a larger scale this called Dysol where we're looking at farming so so to say we're, we're thinking about having installations of these PV the PV solar systems where we want to go to regions 2, 5, 6 and 10 and we want to increase the generation capacity and make the customers in these areas you know, be more confident and reliable in the, in the service that we at GPL has to offer. Good morning, I'm Jimena. I came from Access Mexico. We are a Norwegian company. We have offices around the world. Currently we have 26 and we just opened an office here in Guyana in 2019. What are the services you're offering? We provide asset integrity management and we provide engineering solutions for the offshore oil and gas industry. And we are aware that Guyana is the best uh, oil hotspot in the world and it has a lot of potential. And we have uh, many interesting solutions for all the people here. My name is Daniel Dipti, right. um, uh, Managing Director, Area Systems. Right. So the question I'm asking is why are you participating in the Energy Expo? because we are hoping to bring uh, cyber security systems and service and support and products into Guyana. Right. We, yeah, we actually have Trinidad Foam Company right. and we are hoping to, to do something great for Guyana and to help bring up the economy. Well, I, my name is Sahai Ramsawak. I am the CEO for, the, for Travis with Motor Space Analysis Incorporated. Right. Why did your company see it necessary to participate in this expo? Well, for the reason we participated is for maximum exposure of our company. As a professional company, we do the, we do the car sales, spare parts, and we into the rental also. Right. So in the oil sector, they need cars and they need spares. So we're here for that. My name is Lancelot Warden, and I'm the business development and customer relations officer with Atlantic Marine Supplies Inc. Right. Why did your company see it necessary to participate in this expo? Uh, we represent uh, some major brands that uh, Parker. Hanifin Cooperation, that's one of the biggest brands that we represent. So for Parker, they do um, everything in terms of hydraulics, aerospace, um, hydraulic hoses, fittings. Uh, that's one of the major services that we provide, fabrication of hydraulic hoses up to two and a quarter inches. My name is Kimberly London. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago, right. Ministry of Energy. Right, so from the Ministry of Energy standpoint, we're here to promote our competitive bidding rounds. So we have a shallow water bid round upcoming at the end of first quarter. So we're here to um, look at investment opportunities for Trinidad and Tobago because we're in the same business of oil and gas exploration. State your name and your designation for the record. Safraz Sharifuddin. At this conference here, we are actually launching our new IoT service, so we call it AIoT. So it's Internet of Things, but now we are adding artificial intelligence. So it's artificial intelligence of things. Um, what we're looking to accomplish here is create smart buildings and to offer some solution to the agriculture sector, where you are able to monitor various condition and operation on your farm that would be, in most cases, remote location. 
So sticking to our concept of connectivity anywhere, we have now launched our IoT platform um, where we have the router that is 5G. We also have 5G industrial routers that you can take connectivity pretty much anywhere. And these solutions would help and develop uh, smart buildings, smart city operations, smart farming for precision farming with a few of the sensors that we would have. And we are adding controllers to those sensors. So when you have the outputs of the values, you can now tell the sensors what to do, automatic irrigation, so you're in the comfort of your home in Georgetown, and you can have automa automated irrigation um, on the farm.